Hi, good evening to all. Um, in this particular uh, playlist of mine, I am um, equally thrilled and excited to uh, share one more site, uh, which you can see it right in front of um, all of you in this particular video presentation of mine. And it is called as academicmicrosoft.com slash home so uh, you know the first uh, introduction that you can see is that it's a, a Microsoft academic number one that means everything that you uh, associated with the academics is available in the Microsoft and I need to thank uh, Microsoft company also for this kind of a thing uh, then you have got uh, on the uh, upper tab just below the uh, web browser you can see it has got a uh, Microsoft uh, academic on your left hand side and if you come to this side you will see a sign up and sign in and just below that research more search less that's the punchline which I really liked it research more search less oh my god okay so we will see explore entity analytics now just uh, i don't know how many of you are um, interested or got exposure to google analytics here uh, microsoft has given it to us you don't have to separately log in and here you can see it talks about publications no i don't know how you're going to uh, refer to this number i'm very poor at this uh, so you can calculate all by yourself authors oh my god authors are more than the publications if you can compare these two things together then you have got topics uh, this is 729,306 that is um, 7 lakhs 29 oh my god and uh, 4,527 conferences so um, if you really would like to see and get the knowledge about the conferences you can click on this and you can see number of journals 49,003 oh my god so I think uh, Microsoft will start adding more and you will see because um, two days ago when I checked it out it was a different number so every day it is increasing and the the number of institutions is 25,859 institutions are there unleash the semantic power um, we will uh, understand what these things are and uh, how to carry on further so that um, another way that you can go ahead is with bibliometrics and I'll be showcasing to you through via the um, academic Microsoft that has given to us and uh, what kind of an information and it's not just the upcoming uh, conferences only in India this is even world across that they are showcasing it so um, this is a part of it and if I scroll down more they have even incorporated uh, the blogs also side by side so you can see here visualizing the topic hierarchy on Microsoft academic I have to share a lot of things about uh, this particular platform so that the students are also able to use them then if you know about mesh and uh, how to use them this is another uh, block that has been there visualizing academic impact we will see with the bibliometrics how they are taking care of it so here you can keep on clicking to next 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 uh, let me click and see what is there okay this is talking about the blogs only so I am um, I'll go through uh, take you through as a video walk of mine uh, for these things however let's go ahead first of all and uh, if some of you have already signed up you can carry forward if not click on sign up so that it will take you uh, you can register yourself and after that you can uh, go ahead Ahead. and the reason why I am coming out here is for this particular thing uh, tab if you are able to see this website is powered by Microsoft Academic Graph which in short they call it as mag data and Microsoft Academic Knowledge Exploration Services which makes so mag and makes are hosted API's our data is available for offline processing through mag subscription so if you can go ahead and you can subscribe to the mag um, you can go ahead and you can take care now self-hosted APIs used to create real-time applications like the Microsoft academic website are available on Azure through make subscriptions so first of all let's see what is this mag subscription so that we can talk more about it and if I click on it you can see it's in English US English research project Microsoft academic so new browser recommended by 
Microsoft. Okay, they prefer internet this one. So that's the reason why they're asking. Uh, I'm saying no thanks because I don't want anybody to disturb me. So research, uh, here we have got um, everything pertaining to research and you can click on this. Uh -uh. So you can see it has got resources, publications, codes and data sets, people, Microsoft research blog, webinars, tutorials, research areas. Uh, artificial intelligence because I come from that side uh, at the moment I'm also exploring the uh, Python machine learning artificial intelligence programming so that I can proceed further so I'm sure some of you would definitely love to uh, see these things also research area systems data platform and analytics this should ring bells in our ears so that we can proceed further hardware and devices so those of us who are interested in programming languages and software you can do so many things for yourself quantum computing security privacy and cryptography systems and networking research areas theories uh, some of you who love algorithms you can definitely lay your hands on this mathematics though i'll be taking you later on research areas other sciences can be ecology and environment economics quite a lot medical health genomics and social sciences technology for the emerging markets these are all there under the research program and events what are they okay so academic programs for faculty i'll take you through these things collaborations now i think uh, some of the scholars and the students who are there you should definitely go ahead and take care of this you can collaborations yes you should um events and conferences as i told you these are there and webinars and tutorials we will have a look at it blogs and podcasts uh, this is more or less just like apple itunes uh, so you have got research blog research podcast behind tech post podcast are also available about what is there let's have a look okay people news careers internships uh, so some of you who are interested in internships should go ahead with this one then you have got asia lab okay these are all the research labs um, i know asia lab chinese um, are working a lot lab in english is fine cambridge india you can look into it and if some of you have got friends at cambridge Cambridge you can even look at the Cambridge and you can find it out otherwise for New England New York City and this one other labs for applied sciences mixed reality and AI that is at Zurich in uh, Germany advanced uh, technology at a lab at Cairo so you uh, can see that how Microsoft has really uh, taken care of some of the important um, area oh Zurich I'm sorry it's a European it's not Germany I'm sorry so you know this is also a European and we will have a look at it more about it and all about uh, Microsoft let's have a look so here they have given you whatever their products and services for example I use a lot of power BI I don't know how many of you have started using it visual studio you should go it's absolutely free so you can um, go ahead and uh, download and you can start working about it AI definitely as on the other day i said that they are doing a lot of work with ai internet yes definitely this one developer it okay we will talk about these things yes i'm more interested in education financial services government health manufacturing and resources and retail so we will have a look at each one of these things and try to understand as to how these are helping us also side by side. So welcome to the Microsoft Academic uh, visual uh, i would say my own playlist on this and we will go through each one of them in the meantime go ahead and um, if you have not yet logged in in the sense that you have not created your own um, sign up just click on the sign up and here you will see um, unless and until you don't have multiple accounts of uh, you know you would be uh, coming up for example you can do it with your social networking like i am there on facebook Google, LinkedIn, Microsoft account and Twitter. So it will be showcasing me all these things. So, uh, you know, the best, whichever is yours, you just uh, choose one of them and you can carry forward. So let's join up in my next video more about this thing so that I can show you what I really wanted to kick off today uh, with the Microsoft Academic. So I hope you would enjoy the journey along with me for the various video presentations. Till then, thank you and take care. Bye.